I am Dr. Rashid Ahmed from the Department of Physics of Kohat University of Science and Technology. In the subject of Mathematical Methods of Physics 2 with the course code PHY222, we are at the lecture number 12 and the topic is second order linear equation with constant coefficients and right hand side not equal to 0. In uh, my previous lecture, I have explained to you the second order linear differential equation but with the right hand side equal to 0. These equations can represent the free oscillations or vibrations uh, in any mechanical or electrical system. But uh, usually uh, in common practice, uh, we do not have uh, free vibrations or oscillations. Instead, we have uh, forced vibrations. So, in order to uh, model uh, such situations where we have forced vibrations, we need uh, uh, second order linear differential equations uh, which uh, have a right hand side not equal to 0 and that can represent uh, the force uh, present in that system. So, in today's lecture, uh, we will uh, talk about uh, the uh, force vibrations and how we can model them with the second order linear differential equations. So, let us begin and uh, see that uh, the force vibrations can be modeled with uh, uh, such type of equations. So, uh, uh, let me explain briefly that uh, uh, the terms of this equation. The first term as you can see is uh, a second order differential derivative contains it uh, uh, d square by dx square which is acting on the y which is a function of x multiplied with an unknown constant let us say call it a2. Then we have the first uh, second term uh, which is uh, the first order derivative that is d by dx of uh, y which is a function of x multiplied with another uh, unknown constant a1 and uh, then uh, we have uh, the third term on, on the or the last term on the left hand side a naught y. Um, it, there, it, here it is no derivative involved, but uh, um, uh, we have uh, y involved here. And you can also see that this is a, a linear equation because uh, the power of y is not greater than 1 or it is not a fraction at all. It is actually 1 in every term. So, you see that it is y1 here in the first term, y1 in the second term and y1 in the third term. So, it is actually a linear equation in y and it is a second order differential equation and uh, with constant coefficients. But uh, the different thing in this equation which we are having here is the right hand side and the right hand side is now some function of x we will see that it could be a trigonometric function or some other complicated function but it could be it is uh, some function of uh, x we can put now this equation into slightly uh, better form by dividing the whole equation with the constant a2 so let's do that and uh, when we divide by a2 in the first term so a2 and a2 gets cancelled and in the second term we get a1 by a2 dy by dx and the third term a0 by a2 into y and then uh, let us call f of x divided by a2 equal to capital uh, f of x and actually this capital f of x will represent some kind of force. So, uh, let us check now that how we can represent uh, this uh, the, uh, we can use this second order linear differential equation to represent the force vibration. But before that, uh, uh, we would be interested uh, in, uh, uh, in finding the solutions of uh, uh, such equations. So, let us first uh, take an example, a simple example of uh, this equation and try to solve it and get the solution. So, uh, consider the following equation. Uh, uh, this equation is actually uh, uh, simplified. Uh, by uh, introducing these uh, uh, differential operators over here that is uh, d. So, uh, this d square is the second order de derivative and then uh, 5d plus 4y on the left hand side. So, it is an auxiliary or characteristic, characteristic equation already introduced over here and on the right hand side you can see that it is uh, some function of x 
that is a trigonometric function cos 2x so uh, this is some function of x and it is not equal to 0. Now in order to solve this what we will do is uh, we, we will factorize the uh, left hand side and uh, after factorizing uh, we will try to find out its solution. But before that uh, let uh, we, we uh, bring in here something which is called complementary function and this complementary function is actually the solution of uh, such equations uh, such equation uh, which we probably know by some method. So we call it a complementary uh, function. Let's uh, this uh, this is the most general solution, and let's call it a into e raised to the power minus x plus b into e raised to the power four x. We call it a complementary uh, solution. So it is the case when uh, the right hand side is uh, was equal to zero. So we, we call it uh, just a complementary function because it's uh, it's the solution uh, in uh, some particular case. Uh, and then uh, in this particular uh, solution, uh, let us say we know it by somehow this one, one, uh, one solution, let us call this solution to be uh, y, we will uh, then in detail uh, I will show you that how we can find some particular solution, uh, but at the moment just assume that this is a particular solution and you know it uh, uh, somehow and this is equal to 1 by 10 sin uh, 2x and this uh, solve this equation. Then uh, this equation, uh, the second order linear differential equation becomes uh, d square 5 d plus 4 uh, yp because this is a particular solution. Uh, it's already solved this equation over here. Uh, so we can uh, uh, write it yp and cos of 2x. So uh, since we already knew the particular uh, solution, one particular solution, uh, we have uh, uh, put that over here. And uh, but we know that the particular uh, for the complementary function uh, the right hand side is equal to 0 uh, because we solved it in that way that we factorized it and uh, uh, therefore the right hand side was equal to 0. So we know the complementary function and now we also know some particular solution. So adding these two things together what we get that uh, the uh, particular solution plus the complementary function. Uh, that will be equal to cos 2x plus 0. So on the left hand side uh, we have added uh, this equation and uh, this equation on the previous slide. So this equation with a particular solution and then the equation with a complementary function we have added the left hand sides of these two equations and got uh, this uh, d square plus 5d plus 4 into yp plus uh, yc and on the right hand side cos of 2x plus 0 is equal to cos of 2x. So, so far what we have done is uh, that we have uh, considered a complementary function which comes from the putting the right hand side equal to 0 and in some particular solution uh, which later on we will see we can get from different methods. Uh, I will explain uh, two to three methods in this uh, lecture to you to know the particular solution. But at the moment we are just assuming that we have uh, a particular solution over here and then we have just added these two equations. Uh, to get uh, d square 5 d plus 4 into this uh, sum of the solution and on right hand side then we are left with only cos of 2x. So the, uh, the complete solution uh, now can be put into this form that this is a particular uh, this is the complementary function uh, so, which was the solution of this uh, equation with the right hand side equal to 0 uh, plus this particular solution which is equal to 1 by uh, 10 into sin 2x. So this is now uh, a complete solution uh, y and uh, uh, now uh, we, uh, since we now know that uh, what is uh, the complete solution uh, uh, y, uh, it is uh, now time to show to you that how we can find out the particular solution. So particular solution for finding particular solution we will use uh, different methods. The uh, first method and the simplest method is the method of inspection. Although this method is very uh, simple and easy, but the problem with this method is that it does not always work. It uh, works uh, with uh, simple equations, uh, but as soon as we get uh, uh, difficult uh, equations or uh, complicated equations, this method uh, no longer works. But let us uh, uh, learn that how this method works. So consider uh, that we have some equation like this one. Uh, it is uh, a second order linear differential equation 
uh, with the uh, non zero right hand side you can see that 5 over here now uh, we would like to uh, just see that uh, one particular solution uh, find out the one particular solution of uh, this equation and if you uh, uh, look at carefully uh, you would see if I uh, choose uh, y is equal to let us say um, uh, 5 by 3 and uh, put it over here uh, this y over here and here and here since it is a constant so its first derivative will be equal to 0 so this term will uh, go away uh, and if I put it over here the second uh, derivative is also equal to 0 so this term also will go away and if I put it over here then uh, 3 will cancels with, uh, cancels with 3 and 5 is equal to 5 so it means that this is uh, some particular solution and of this equation which I have just uh, determined by looking at it so that is why we call this method uh, a method of inspection uh, where we uh, find uh, some particular solution uh, by just uh, looking at the equation. So, uh, the particular solution is then uh, yp is equal to 5 by 3 which we just got uh, by, uh, by just inspecting uh, and uh, equating the right hand side uh, to the le left hand side and just uh, guessing that uh, this would be the uh, uh, this would be the solution. Since we knew that for any constant y, the first uh, derivative and the second derivative uh, will be equal to 0. Therefore, we knew that the first term and second term will go away and uh, y is chosen in such a way that it produces 5. So, therefore, this is a particular solution. But as I told you, this is an easy method to find some particular solution, um, uh, but uh, it is uh, not, it does not always work because in some complicated uh, equations uh, the method of inspection uh, does not turn out to be uh, the right uh, method. So, uh, once uh, if uh, this method is not working that is uh, the method of a particular solution uh, then uh, we adopt uh, another method which is we call a successive integration of two first order equations. In this case as uh, you have already seen that our equation is uh, uh, second order uh, it means it has got uh, two derivatives so if we integrate it twice that is integrate once uh, will can will uh, then we will get rid of the uh, one of first derivative and if we integrate again then we will get rid of the second derivative and in this way uh, uh, we can uh, find the some particular solution so uh, for example uh, to illustrate this method i will again uh, give you a simple example in this case for example we have y uh, double prime plus y prime minus 2y is equal to ex so this is uh, a second order uh, linear differential equation uh, on the uh, right hand side we have uh, some uh, function of x now uh, it is very difficult to find uh, the particular solution uh, because uh, even at looking at it uh, you will not be able to guess anything even if you guess uh, it might go wrong uh, because the right hand side is an exponential and it is very difficult to find just by looking at it or by just the method of inspection the particular solution. Therefore, uh, we will integrate this. So, first of all we can uh, write this equation uh, in uh, its characteristics form or auxiliary form and uh, then factorize it so it uh, turns out to be d minus 1 into d plus 2 into y raised to power x so it is its characteristics equation or auxiliary equation and we have uh, written this in uh, this form uh, just to um, uh, make it uh, simple to solve because if we do not put it in this form it will be very difficult to integrate it therefore we have uh, put that uh, into this form uh, to um, uh, to make the integration uh, simple. So, uh, once it is in this form, uh, then you know that uh, let us call d plus 2, uh, it, it actually uh, constitutes the case uh, when we have re real uh, and unequal uh, coefficients. So, let us call uh, then uh, d plus 2y is equal to u and uh, our uh, solution uh, then equation turns out uh, to be d minus 1 into u is equal to e raised to power x or we can write it simply as uh, u prime because it multiplies over here and it is uh, the first order derivative. So, u prime minus u is equal to e raised to power x and uh, if uh, now uh, since uh, we have simplified this equation very much 
Now it is very simple to integrate it because on the left hand side we have derivative in the first term and then on the right hand side we have exponential. So it is uh, now uh, easier to integrate uh, this equation. So uh, integrating it for the first time you will see that it is equal to minus dx is equal to minus x and uh, um, u e to the power minus uh, x uh, could be written as e to the power minus into e to the power x is equal to x plus c1 very simple as you see now and uh, what we get is the solution equal to this thing so u equal to this thing and uh, uh, but it's still uh, because uh, it's not complete because we have to make um, another integration and uh, to make another integration uh, first of all let's write our equation uh, into this form after first integration x e to power x c1 into e x or y prime plus 2 y is equal to x e to power e x into c1 e to power x and uh, it uh, we want to now integrate it again uh, because uh, uh, there is still one derivative left over here we uh, got rid of the first derivative uh, by just integrating and then now we uh, want to integrate again to get rid of the second derivative and get the final solution a particular solution for this if we integrate it again uh, you see it's very simple thing and uh, after the integration uh, you get uh, it into this form you can uh, integrate it term by term and get this uh, thing this c2 is another constant of integration and uh, uh, finally the solution could be put uh, into this form <coughs> and you have seen that we have got uh, uh, two constants of integration c1 and c2 so uh, uh, so these were the two simple methods uh, you have seen uh, of uh, uh, finding out the uh, particular uh, solution one was just the by inspecting and uh, uh, second was by uh, successive uh, integration uh, that is integrating two times uh, we were able to find a particular solution and once you know the particular solution you can uh, multiply uh, add it with the uh, con complementary function and uh, and get the uh, final solution <coughs> okay so there is another one uh, interesting case in this uh, type of equations is that we have exponential right hand side that is uh, uh, we have uh, f of x that was the uh, force function on the right hand side equal to k into c raised to power x this, so this is the uh, exponential right hand side and if this is the case uh, how do we solve then uh, such equations um, in this case then we have uh, we put it in uh, this form first the auxiliary form or characteristics equation form d minus a into d minus b y f of x into k c raised to e raised to power cx and then uh, we use the method of undetermined coefficients uh, to solve such equations so for example consider this uh, this example over here this equation in this example which is equal to y double prime plus y prime minus 2 y is equal to 18 x e to power x now you see there is a right hand side is uh, uh, exponential function and we want to solve this equation and uh, to uh, solve it uh, the particular solution would be uh, one of these forms for example in the first case we could have e raised to power cx and to q and x if c is not equal to either a or b or uh, this one if c is e uh, equals to a because here we have got uh, uh, another constant c and that c uh, if this c is equal to a and b then the particular solution if uh, is of this form and if c is equals a or b and a or b are not equal to each other then this is the particular solution and if all of them are equal that is c is equal to a is equal to b then we get this particular solution so in our case in our example you see a is equal to 1 and b is equal to minus 2 and c is equal to 1 so it means a is equal to c so a, here you can see uh, if c is equals to a or b and they are not equal so we are in the second case over here so our particular solution so will look like uh, um, uh, so so we will get p equal to 18 x or this is uh, just the uh, p 1 x because n is uh, 1 over here and our uh, q1 will be ax plus b because this uh, just uh, turns out to be the nolly equations as uh, you have already learned 
in previous lecture what the Bernoulli equation is and how we can solve it. Here uh, we have determined the P and Q now and uh, the particular solution is uh, as we already uh, mentioned that it is x e to the power x a x plus b or e x to x square uh, plus p x. So, in uh, uh, but uh, there are two uh, undetermined uh, coefficients a and b which we can easily determine uh, by because it is now a first order linear equation. So, uh, uh, finding a and b uh, uh, is uh, like taking a, a derivative of this and second derivative of it and then uh, um, uh, then this equation uh, will be equal to uh, if you add them all of all of them together will be equal to of uh, this form and uh, we must have then uh, uh, to find out this a and b uh, we uh, uh, we can have 6a is equal to 18 or these these values or we have determined a uh, a and b values from uh, adding up together this equation it's very simple if you just uh, put everything together you will get these constants and uh, after determining these uh, coefficients uh, a is equal to 3 and b is equal to minus 2 we have this uh, particular solution so these are the references so in today's lecture uh, we have uh, considered a very important uh, and interesting equation that is uh, the second order linear differential equation uh, with the right hand side not equal to 0 and uh, uh, I told you that uh, these equations can be solved uh, by, um, uh, uh, by uh, 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 a, a simple method of uh, uh, inspection uh, to find out the particular solution uh, and then uh, having a complementary solution and then uh, uh, putting it uh, together. So, for particular solution, uh, we seen uh, three uh, different methods. The first one was a simpler one, which we called the, uh, uh, the method of inspection, uh, where we by just by looking uh, at the equation, we could find out the, uh, uh, the solution. And the second was the successive integration. It is a little bit tedious, uh, but yet simple method. And, and third uh, was uh, the method of undetermined coefficients. Uh, but in that methods, uh, method, we, uh, we should have uh, exponential on the right hand side. So, uh, 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 such equations uh, model uh, many physical phenomena where we have uh, forced uh, vibrations or some, some kind of force involved into some electrical or mechanical uh, systems. So, therefore, uh, they are quite uh, important. So, with this, I thank you. Bye -bye.